Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with day seven of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. And this is our sketch. This is, like I said, day seven and the sketch is from Page Maps. There are six pictures on here that are three by three some layers, a couple of bigger embellishments, and it almost looks like an eight and a half by 11 um, is where you create most of it and then just have this picture and maybe a little border or something hanging off here. So super exciting, a little bit different. So I have this birthday kit from the paper studio. I actually got this from Hobby Lobby. It had been marked down and then I marked down again and clearance. So I got the entire kit for a dollar and a half. Super exciting. I've only used um, one partial paper out of here to put on a birthday layout that I did just a couple days ago. So I don't think I've used any of the embellishments um, or stickers. So these are good to go. There's lots. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it's it's noisy going through the packaging so there are all these different papers I used a bit of this um, and then like I said the sticker sheet the alphas these puffy stickers and then the gemstones so super exciting and then I have a couple of random embellishments that kind of go in the same theme of that paper or this paper, which is Recollections Paper Pad uh, Memory Explosion Box. Um, and it is full of birthday type things. Um, I even have a little collection of tags and things that may come in. Um, no telling. Um, and then I just pulled these all out of my stash. They are random. Some of them are super, super old. Couldn't even tell you how old they are. Um, I've had some of this stuff for over 10 years, maybe longer than that. I'd say this is from sometime in the 2007 area because, oh yeah, 2006, because I got that at the dollar store back when they used to sell Miss Elizabeth's. So, and then like I said, there's this paper pad that I got um, at Michael's and it's got gorgeous shiny papers. So I may use this as my base page because this is a cardstock and the other papers are very thin. And then I have my beautiful Dottie About Flare and this is a flare and these are epoxies. So I don't think I'll use all three of them. I may just use one or two, but I wanted to get them out because these colors go really well, almost like it was made for the collection. So, now I'm sure you are just dying to see what my pictures are, and you'll be surprised to see that they are Christmas pictures. So, today's theme from Dottie About Flair is to use a themed paper or, you know, collection that is not for the theme you're working on. So I did one of these once before my and my husband had gotten a new job. So we had gone out to celebrate and I used a travel kit um, to document. So I was able to kind of tie that in. So birthdays are a celebration. Christmas is actually Christmas Eve is a celebration. So while the color scheme of their clothing is not going to go with what I'm working with, the concept of celebration and uh, gifts and having fun will still jive. So we will see <laughs> what happens with all of this. So I have my papers and embellishments. I've got my pictures and my flair and this fantastic sketch that's just appeared. Here we go from page maps. So let's see how this goes. All right, so the first thing that I did was go through this Paper Studio birthday kit and pulled the two papers that I wanted to use, and they're down there at the bottom. And I put them there so that as I flip through this paper pad for a base page and any other layers I need, I can match them better. And I consider this orange, 
and a yellow. I didn't want a pattern because I already had a lot of pattern going on. So I was hoping for something more of a solid uh, cardstock. So I like this yellow, but then there's a list, this other yellow too. And so I put that paper against them both. And this one's a little darker. So I went with that and it is actually ombre. And I choose to have the ombre go sideways. So you can see the difference from one side to the other. And I'm going to apologize in advance if you can hear anything in the background. My husband is deaf practically and he is watching something in the next room. There's lots of screaming and profanity so I'm hoping that you can't hear that. So I cut this orange cardstock which is also from that paper pad, the recollections, into an eight and a half by eleven and then the word phrase paper which is shiny and really pretty. Of course most of it disappears because you cover it. I cover it. Um, and that I cut into an eight and a quarter by a uh, ten and three quarters. So it would just give a quarter inch border. And then I took this stripe from the Paper Studios paper pad or paper pack and cut it in, I think it's five inches or five and a half, maybe one, two, three, four, no, maybe five. And, you know, I just did this. It's not like I did it days ago and I can't remember. <laughs> So then I get my pictures out and I'm trying to decide I really want to use that orange strip of scrap um, down there on the bottom right and it is three and a half inches. So I'm wanting to get my pictures, these two um, a lot bigger pictures down to a three and a quarter if I can. So I do and it fits on this orange paper. I trim them just enough to where I have enough space lengthwise as well as widthwise. And in the sketch there are six three by threes and I decided I wanted to use these pictures and I would just use these two longer pictures as the three by threes, you know, two three by threes on the top and bottom. So I had um, concerns with this layout because I um, it was not so much of a stretch for me to use a travel kit to do my husband's new job. We were at a Mexican restaurant. He was, you know, changing jobs, new adventures, lots of word phrases and stuff that worked. Um, I was a little more concerned about this because while there's a strip of red and a strip of green in that paper, there's really not a lot of Christmassy color going on, which is another reason I picked yellow. I felt like that would help tie, you know, that color in. So, um, but in the end, I will tell you all, I really love the way this turned out. I am very pleasantly surprised with how well the two paper collections came together and my extra ones I pulled in. Sometimes um, I just pull things out and I think, man, this is close. And I really feel like a lot of it just jives. So I'm very excited. So, um, okay. So now back to the layout. I am, I tacked that down with my scotch um, tape runner and then I put it down on my Fiskars mat so that I could make sure that it was even. Go me actually using a ruler and I'll pull one out again later. Ugh, what a day. Two times using my measuring tools while I scrapbook. So there is a border, it looks like a scallop border on both sides of the strip down the middle. And instead of using a scallop, I use these Miss Grossman's borders. I have a ton of them. I've been working on using them up, but they are not a full 11 inches, I think, or 12 inches. I think they're 11 and a half or 11 and a quarter or something. And so there's a little gap there and I just make sure, ooh, that was thunder. I just make sure that it is somewhere where I know that I can cover that. So this one on the left side, there's going to be an embellishment cluster there. And the one on the right side, there's a picture up at the top. So I know that I can make that a little higher. And no, I don't measure. I just eyeball and say, mm, that looks close. And I think it's pretty darn good. So I'm debating on where I want these two longer pictures to go. Because obviously they're not six inches wide plus there's a gap between the pictures and the sketch so they're not going to make that full length like in the picture like the two three by threes do so at first I have them over here and then after I get my two smaller pictures which I did cut into a three by three and mat on a three and a quarter by three and a quarter with some balloon paper 
Um, after I get those down, I realize that I really like the continuity of those longer pictures being even with the one picture um, in the middle. So I, when I start tacking things down, I move them over. And I'm glad I did. I don't think I would have liked it nearly as much. See, I start putting it there, and I'm like, no, nope, don't like that. So then I eyeball what it would look like there, and that I like. So I move that over, and I'll move these around a little bit. Luckily, this tape will pull up um, if you do it, you know, after just a little while. Um, and so I get all of these put down and, like I said, pick things up and move them back. I want them to be even with each other. Um, the long one on the right side, on the top and bottom, I want to be even with that smaller one in the middle. And this is Christmas Eve. We play games on Christmas Eve at my sister's. And um, this year, my sister had wrapped a present multiple times. And the kids had to take turns unwrapping it. It was a game for all of them to share. This may have been the year they got the throw, throw burrito. But I can't. I don't know. There's a <laughs> We get games every year, which is fun. And new pajamas, which is what the kids changed clothes in the bottom. So, um, that is why there's a change of clothes from the two boys from the top to the bottom. So I did put these in order of how they happened through the day and the girls are, um, wearing their new pajamas too, but they don't match. Um, so then I, there is a border underneath the two smaller pictures and I use another one of the Miss Grossman's borders and put that down and trim it off and I'll set that back on there and I use all of those. I don't like to waste those at all even though I have a ton I don't waste so now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to use right there look I'm pointing it all out for you uh, what I'm going to use there as my title and honestly I don't really have a set title on here I pull a couple things out and try to figure out what is going to look good here and I'm looking at this boarding pass and this tag and I love the fact that the colors are really bright and bold uh, well I mean as bold as pastel is but they're shiny and happy and so I decide I'm going to use those. And look, there it is. I pull out my um, my measuring tool, my ruler, figure out what the space is there. Because I want to, not as much width-wise, but depth-wise, I want to make sure that it's going to fill in that space. So I measure it on my Fiskars and determine it to be three. I want it to be three by three so that I can put a mat behind it. That will be a little bit bigger than a 3x3 three because three, it does disappear into that bold color that's on there. So I want it to be matted on something that it's going to help it stand out. So I put it on this balloon paper that came from the Paper Studio collection. And I trim that down to where it's got kind of a thin border. I don't really care that you can't see the balloons on there. I mean, we did not have balloons on Christmas Eve. But then it's kind of blending in with that black border and that black strip in the middle and the dark blue strip in the middle. So I mat it again on some um, white based cardstock from the Recollections pad that just has word phrases all over it, which you can't really see either. There's some of the color pops out when you see it in person. And I get that down. And like I said, I don't really title anything here. Um, I, there are a lot of words on this layout when it's all said and done. So any of those could be the title. Um, so I'll just pick one and go with that. So out of my little recollections, um, tag collection, I pulled this little label and I have, I realize now I have not written anything there, but I'm going to write a note there about what my daughter is doing. <laughs> Um, I think originally I planned on putting the date there, but there is a great place on that boarding pass to write the date. So I did not do that. <laughs> um, but I do take this, um, purple and pink strip of words and I have, um, I don't know if I've had that for, my daughter is 20 years old. I think I got it when she was a little baby. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I take the embellishments that came from the paper studio collection. I put this little... Uh, thing that says yay over over the little gap in the border over there and then the little llama and the llama's colors are great they match the background paper um, of that big stripe and I just love it and it's blowing that little um, party favor which is what I've got over there by the boarding pass as well and I think I add one more thing with the, some of those 
So then I get these Recollections presents out and they are very similar to the same color. So I put them on um, multiple places and they're uh, 3D embellishments and I love them. Um, and I used up the entire little um, sheet of them so that made me happy. So I pulled this Hooray Let's Celebrate sticker off and I put that right there above the boarding pass and the tag. And then this other little one that's green and it's got a black banner says yay. And I don't care that there's a yay over on the other side. Um, I'm fine with that. And then these little words are purple and pink and I pulled those off and they just say games, uh, celebrate gifts and smile. They've got a white border that I left because I thought that would help them stand out. I did trim it down though because it was a pretty f wide border. And I just tucked them in four different little cluster spaces. And I really love how they just add something to the page. So then I'm trying to figure out where I want to put my dotty about flair. And I decide I'm going to use one up in the top right corner and one by that yay. So I get a little piece of fun foam from Walmart and put it behind my flair because that is the perfect depth to put your flare down and not have a dip or have to use more than one. And I'm running out of the sel the sticky kind, so I gotta be careful. So I keep all my little bits and pieces. I don't throw any of that away. And then I just glue the epoxy down and kind of tuck it behind my yay paper um, paper party paper. That's the word. And then I grab these Miss Elizabeths, which, like I said, 2006. Yay, go me! And I just pull some of the hearts off of here and use them for the beginning parts of my clusters. And I put them in three different places, um, even though I have really like five clusters all together. <laughs> I mean, there's clusters all over this page. I don't care. I think it's fantastic. Um, and I'm using up stash, a lot of really old stash. I've had those recollections presents for quite a long time as well. So I get those all down and then I find while I'm about to get put the uh, Miss Elizabeths away, I see some word like little phrases that are going to fit perfectly one says dance to the music and in this picture in the middle my niece is singing a song it's part of the game we were playing she had to stand up and sing a song and so she is definitely doing that and was dancing around um so i put that down on there and then i cut put, pulled one that says magic moments and one that says it's a party and matted them all on white so that they would stand out better and just put them down right on the pictures there's not really anywhere for me to put one on that picture of my daughter, so that's why it's perfect. There's a little label there for me to write on there something. I do get the gemstones that also came out of the Paper Studio collection, and I just used the pink, the white, and the black, and then I put a yellow one over there as well, um, where it's on the darker paper, because it'll stand out. It would not have stood out on the yellow paper. So I'm just adding those to where the hearts are, almost like they're right on top of them in two of those clusters. And I like that a lot. And then I am going to get out my pen, I think. Yep. And I'm going to journal. First, I fill out the boarding pass and I just write the kids' names on there, Christmas Eve 2020. And then I wrote first class because it's got a place on there that says, what class? I'm like, well, of course, first class. And in that gape time and seat, I wrote the date. And then on the tag, I just wrote a little thing about how the kids always get presents um, on Christmas Eve. And um, I just journaled about that. And then I looked at that um, to see if there was anything else I needed to do. And look, this I would have cut out because I was cleaning up my space to show you the finished result. <laughs> so here's the sketch. I hope you all will follow along with the great and amazing people who are doing um, the Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Their links are below uh, for Instagram and YouTube. So please, please, please go check them out. They are so inspiring. Have a great day and happy scrapping.